Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. So we've just landed at TK Maxx and there's a charity shop here I would like to go in as well because I'm after a basket for a hamper and although I was hoping to go to Jisk because I think Jisk have got some really fantastic baskets if you're doing like hampers this year. Basically, we're ticking off this um, to-do list for Christmas. I need a basket for a hamper, but I'm going to try TK Maxx first because I want to have a little look around. There's other things I'd like as well. And if I can get the basket all in one place, then I'm going to do that. If not, we'll go to Jisk and get the basket. Basically, the basket saga. <laughs> Bloody hell, I'll talk about um, going to London to get to Preston. It's not so busy. It's actually great. And um, it's a little bit spitty. Spitty? It's spitting. It's what we call it in the north, where it's a little bit, a bit of rain. <laughs> there's no snow left, especially down here in the town. Like I said, there's a cancer research. There's a cancer research shop here as well. So I always like to have a little mooch around there. Um, because I'm always looking for thrifty things and you just never know do you so we'll do a little bit of thrifting this morning as well I can already tell that this is going to be dangerous because look at all the gifts <gasps> stunning look at this rustic makeup brush set I always feel like I find loads of things for me at this time of year I can't buy myself anything else can I I can't do it this is where I love to be, in the soap section. Oh, they've got some nice ones. Look at this one. <gasps> Have you smelt these? They're absolutely beautiful. What good gifts to get people as well. And this bath bomb set in this wooden box. Also, if you're going somewhere for Christmas this year, it's nice to bring the host a gift. This is a gorgeous snowman set how nice is this serve where why does that look so funny why does it look so funny oh my god stunning look at these wine glasses <gasps> wow how much are these 4.99 each they are beautiful oh my god stop it <gasps> look at this rolling pin stop it it's like ceramic Oh my god, I need this. I need it. This little Ralph Lauren bed. Do you know Ralphie is called after Ralph Lauren? It's my favourite brand. And shall I get it in this bed? He deserves it. So this is what we need. Gift bags. And we need a basket. Do you know what? They've got some decent baskets. How much is this one? got to have handles yes 10 pounds that's quite large um more baskets is that the same as what we've just seen how much is that one 10 pounds oh my god vintage bookshelf games monopoly it looks like a vintage book and the game is inside it so we're here at Cancer Research Charity Shop. Okay, this is a little basket worth of worth of uh, frames and artwork. So I'm looking for vintage frames in particular. Um, is that one quite nice? Obviously, I want gold or brass. These two are really nice. Three pounds each. These are really nice. I just think they're quite pink tint. They've got a pink tint to them. Wow. Wow, what are these? Decanter bottles. Oh, wow, they're for spirits. But you could use them for syrups or anything. I really like these, you guys. <gasps> Do I get these? Four pounds, the vintage. <gasps> Love them. Okay, everyone, it's time to sort the kitchen out. I've just been dumping, as usual, everything on my center island. Guys, I've had to set up this studio light. <laughs> this is the current setup. I've had to set up that so that you can see because it's really, really dull outside today and rainy. So we've only got these lights at the moment. We need to add an extra layer of lighting, but once we're finished, and that's with like lamps and things like that. 
so it will be better lighting wise in the future but yeah i dump everything on here so i'm gonna clear it all off and we're going to decorate for Christmas in the kitchen. So we've got the kitchen mantle to decorate. As you can see, I've popped a eucalyptus garland up here for now. But I'm sure we can make this a little bit more Christmassy. And then we've got this back shelf here. At the moment, it's still got some, um, what do you call it? Autumnal pumpkin spice syrups and things like that we've got a jar that we could probably decorate pop candy canes in anyway we're gonna have a faff around that's what we do best it's what we love isn't it on this channel i'm sure we can make things look a little bit more festive and i also want to create a center island a center island we've got a center island i'd also like to create some sort of display in the center here oh by the way i love this star dish I've just popped all the chocolates in and guys, I told you I don't buy these until last minute because every time I walk past, I'm grabbing one of them. It was full and now it's like, I'm having to spread them out so it looks like I haven't had any, which I definitely have, definitely. <laughs> but the star dish, that was from Home Sense. I think they still do it. I bought some clementines. I just thought they looked really Christmassy. Now, I'm not sure if you can use clementines instead of oranges but oranges to me are christmasy it's just a thing and especially in this vintage christmas because didn't they used to get oranges in the stockings back in the day i think that's really really cute that they used to get a uh, fruit like that so we're going to decant the oranges and obviously we're going to garnish with them we're going to use them we're going to garnish the mulled wine with these but i think they'll look really nice in my little cake stand what do you think we'll have a faff like i said i've got some bits and bats out because i'm just so not organized and i thought if we get it all out on the table we can organize it all so i got this make your own gingerbread but i did get some gingerbread dough which is in the fridge we might do that later actually but i thought this might be a really nice stocking filler for someone so i think i'll use it as a stocking filler I always pop these in the stockings as well, the gift bags, so to speak. There's the Terry's chocolate orange. There's nothing more, like I said, festive than Terry's chocolate orange. I always get my husband a dark chocolate one because he loves dark chocolate. So that's his. And then I've got some doggy treats there for the family pets. I also picked up these nuts. <laughs> um but don't they look good these are from aldi i thought they would look really really nice on a cheese board or something something or as a gift as well but you just don't want to gift everybody just like food all the time do you we've got chili jam that i need to put away and like organize all my cheese board things to be honest i also picked up a bottle of sherry i think this is from lidl sweet sherry and that is for christmas day for me and hubby now guys like how old am i i know but um this is a vintage christmas and they used to drink sherry on christmas day so i thought i would you know me go in with the details as usual and let's have another little look what we've got over here i think these are classics whether it's a stocking filler for other people whether you're hosting or whether it's just you in the house these are always really good aren't they after dinner mints so I picked up some of those classics. I also picked up some candy canes. Not sure where these were from. There was some sort of shop like B&M or Home Bargains. They sell them everywhere and they're really inexpensive. Probably B&M to be honest with you. And I like the green in these ones. So I've got some candy canes for the hot chocolates. They'll look really nice up there on the bar, won't they actually? So we'll do something like that, I think. Um, I picked up a little lollipop for a stocking filler. I also picked up some luxury crackers because, like I said, we love cheese boards at this time of year to snack on and just have, like, just little picky bits at the end of the island here. I'm looking to do my cheese board in my little, little, large cake stand. Still not over this. I love it. I'm sorry if you keep hearing about it and you're, like, probably rolling your eyes back, like, as depressed. But I love it. If there's anything you buy this year for Christmas that I have influenced you over, let it be this. What a feeling 
now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here I guess that spring and summer they're all fine But I've been waiting for the season that's mine So let it come Yeah, let it come Snowflakes fall, I can hear the sleigh bells call They're saying it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling, now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the halls I've been kind to big and small And now it's time to have a merry holiday What a feeling when it's time for Christmas Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here Sing a carol and we'll bring it here Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it here How festive I just love real decor you know like real usable decor fresh greenery there's just something so festive about the fresh greenery at christmas because obviously it's evergreen that you use because obviously everything else has lost its um green array at christmas time apart from the evergreens and apart from the christmas trees this little christmas tree I bought it from, oh my gosh, where did that come from? You know, you collect the decor along the years. Well, I only bought this a couple of years ago, but I just think it's really lovely. I think I bought it on sale after Christmas one time in Matalan. That's ringing a bell, I'm not too sure, but that's the best time to buy Christmas decor in the new year <laughs> when Christmas is over, because they sell all the good stuff like at really affordable prices and you know you're going to need it next year so you can save yourself a whole bunch of money if you wanted to obviously we've got the fresh greenery i don't know what it is about this type of tree not sure what this type of tree is but it's really fluffy and it smells again incredible i've got my little stag candles these are from b&m bargains they've got little glass lanterns i'm using flameless candles They're just LED candles, but they're real wax coating, so they look real. And they're from um, Dunelm, the candles. These little jars, the stag jars, like wooden stag jars. These are from B&M Bargains. They were a couple of pounds a few years ago. I know they still do versions of these, but I think they're really, really festive. There's something about stags at Christmas time that I just love. So yeah, I love church candles as well. I think we're looking really good there, you guys. What do you think? Very festive. 
So then I have my eat, drink, nap book because to be honest with you, I've got no other books to put on this little easel, this little stand. Somebody actually asked me what book it was, what book it was. That's the wooden stand and it's for a cookbook or any type of book, I suppose, but I wanted it as a cookbook here on the kitchen island while we're cooking away here at the cooking station. I've turned it to the, is it Babington House, this one? Not sure. Yes, it is Babington House because they've got some Babington House recipes here. Babington scones. It is a recipe book as well as a home interior book. Again, this Eat, Drink, Nap book is probably one of my favourite coffee table books. It's like real Soho house, country living. But I've turned it to that wintry page so that it just looks really, really festive, doesn't it? When you're making coffee in the morning, it's like, what? <laughs> and also, you guys, I'm probably never going to afford a house as fabulous as Babington House. However, I am looking for something similar, a definitely um, a grade listed building. And look at those windows. It's just lovely. And I like to keep my eye on the prize, so to speak. As I don't know where to put my little dish of chocky wockies. This is a sociable area, so I don't want to clutter the island. However, we've not got many places to put this. Now, usually I would put this in a lounge area. We haven't got a lounge area, but when we have in the family room, this could go on the coffee table. I do sit here quite a lot, here on my laptop during the day and at the tea time when I'm cooking over here and keeping my eye on the dinner. So maybe, or is that a bad idea because I would eat all the chocolates? I'm going to leave him here for now. It doesn't look too cluttered, does it not? Good morning, everyone. It's dead early the next day and I just thought I'd pop on because I forgot to film an outro for yesterday's video. And I did pick up a few bits as well that I wanted to share with you from JISC. I picked up this and it was reduced. So check that reduced outlet section. £4.50 and it's just a normal... Well, it is four, but it's like... um just green it's got no glitter on it it's like a frosted evergreen wreath and obviously moving forward in the future we're going to need a lot more decoration so i thought i'll pick that up whilst i'm there uh what else did we pick up um oh i picked up this basket which is gorgeous look it's got these ring pulls on so i just thought that was really really nice how much was this basket 12.99 and i just like this kind of a seagrass more than some of the wo other woven baskets like there were cheaper ones in tk maxx and they were much bigger as well but i don't think they were as nice as this one so i didn't mind paying the extra few pounds so this is my little hamper basket and it was 12.99 uh from jisk basically i saw this in tk maxx and i couldn't resist it 5.99 what brand is this Nicole Miller, New York. I've never heard of it, but it's a three pack. It's a blush, a bronze and a highlighter. I've just run out of blush, so I definitely needed a blush. And I've been toying with the idea of a highlighter because I think it might make my makeup a bit nicer in my videos. I can brighten it in the corners of my eye and things like that. You tend to pull yourself apart when you're editing videos back. So anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, yeah, that was 5 99 So pick that up for myself. Always pick myself something up. <laughs> Merry Christmas from me to me. <laughs> and then I picked up some little stocking fillers. So I picked this pack of three Ralph Lauren socks up for Joelle. I'm sure she won't watch this video. But um, yeah, I do her a little hamper with all the favourite bits in, you know, things that she'll need. How much were they? Seven ninety nine. So they were seven ninety nine for a pack of three. They had loads of things like that in in um, TK Maxx for gift ideas. There were so many gifts that I saw. I need to go shopping like properly because we do have a few more gifts to find. Still didn't find the gift bags though. There's just none I like. I think I'm gonna have to go back to Home Bargains because I think I saw some there. Oh, I also picked this up from Jisk. It's a relaxing scent, balance, tranquility. It smells nice, it smells like a bit of a spa. Can't tell you what it smells like, it doesn't tell you the notes, but it's in this little amber bottle, cork lid, and it's just really, really pretty. A nice little hamper filler. Um, don't know who that's going to this year. What else is in this basket? Oh, soap. So it was in TK Maxx, I got a cinnamon and orange soap for Joelle. 
Oh, it smells amazing. That was $3.99. Look at the packaging. It's beautiful. Nice little hamper fillers. I also picked up some bougie soap for my husband. I got him some finest triple milled soap, ginger and yuzo. You can smell the ginger. It's gorgeous. Very manly, this one. So that was $3.99. And we do like a nice soap in this house. Also, Joelle is... Um, skincare body mad so i picked her up some body scrub sponges they look like this so i'm going with a natural theme for joelle's hamper we'll have to make the hamper up together in one of the next videos so yeah all very neutral colors and tones so she'll love that as well and uh managed to get my basket so a few more things ticked off the list so thank you for joining me for Vlogmas episode three. I'm filming today as well. So busy, busy, busy. And we're going somewhere new today. I've never been where we're going today, but you'll have to stay tuned for the next video, Vlogmas episode four. So I'll see you there. But thanks for joining me, guys. I'll meet you in the comments as usual. And uh, I hope you're all feeling really, really festive and you're doing lots more than what I'm doing at the moment. Do you know what? Even though we're not doing much, I've kind of had cabin fever and you know why, you guys know why, but I'm sure when we lose this dressing, we'll be out and about a little bit more and enjoying the festivities, but I do feel festive, like I feel festive nonetheless. I hope you all are too. Are you all sorted for Christmas? Let me know in the comments. I'll meet you down there for a chat as usual and I'll see you in Vlogmas episode four, hopefully. Bye guys.